Sony Music Studios in New York City. It's A&E's Live by Request, starring Ken Rogers. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kenny Rogers. Maybe when I met you, there was peace unknown. I set out to get you with a fine tooth comb. I was soft inside. There was something going on. I feel no pain every beat of my heart. We got something going on. Tender love is blind, it requires a dedication. All this love we feel need no conversation. We ride it together, ah ha. Making love with each other, ah ha. Islands in the stream, that is what we are. No one in between. you if the love is gone everything is nothing if you got no one and you just walk through the night slowly losing sight of the real thing but that won't happen to us and we got no doubt too deep in love and we got no way out and the message is clear Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Rogers. Let's move up a little bit. Come on up here. Get closer to everybody. That is our show. Good night. Thank you very Thank much you so for being much. with us. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mark McEwen. Welcome to the only music show on television where you call the shots, little thing we call live by request. Tonight, a fixture on the world music stage for over three decades, a man who's had more than 56 albums uh, yeah. under his belt and has sold over 100 million records, Mr. Kenny Ryan. I'm worn out just saying all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we are broadcasting live on A&E, simulcast on radio stations from coast to coast, webcasting live on the internet. You know how to work a computer? No. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> For the next two hours, Kenny and the band will take your request live on national television, sort of like jukebox. Uh, that's a bit scary. That is a bit scary. You know what? He can handle it all. Oh, I don't know. If you have a favorite Kenny Rogers song, give us a call. Let him know. The number is, can you see that number right now? Okay, what? what? One eight seven seven six three Kenny. Oh, I that's just, very clever. You like that? <laughs> that number again is one eight seven seven six three Kenny. That's your home number, right? I gotta love that. Well, you, not, you love that? You gotta love that. You call him, yeah. Kenny goes, yeah. Hello? Answers the phone yeah. right at home. You can email us, log on to our total e website at libbyrequest.infobeat.com. What a year you are having. You have a brand new album yeah. that's just about to hit the stores. She rides wild horses. Right. A song that everybody is rocking about called The Greatest. Yes, it's a very sweet song. <laughs> yeah. 
so we've got stuff to do tonight. We've okay, got stuff. Fine. Shall we take a call? You sure. ready? Absolutely. We're going to go to that hotbed of country music, Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> Margie's on the line. Margie, say hi, hi to Kenny. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Margie. How are you? Fine, thank you. What a great thrill to finally speak to one of my favorite entertainers. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. I absolutely adore you, and I've seen you many, many times. Oh, that's very nice. Margie, like, what, what would you like to hear, Margie? I'd like to hear one of my favorite songs, which is called Daytime Friends. Okay. Yeah, this is... So many people actually thought this was a first edition hit because we put it together with a bunch of first edition things, but it's really not. It was done after that. So uh -huh. it really is. It's a wonderful song. So here we go. Here we Daytime, go. Friends. Daytime Friends. Daytime Friends. But she knows too well there's something going on. She's been neglected and she needs a friend. So her trembling fingers dial the telephone. Lord, it hurts her doing this again. He's the best friend. Hoping no one else discovers where they go or what they do and their secret hideaway. Well, daytime friends and nighttime lovers, they don't want to hurt the other, so they love in the nighttime and shake hands in the light of day. When it's so there's no peace of mind Just a longing for the way things should have been And she wonders Why some men never find That a woman needs a lover and a friend Daytime friends and nighttime lovers Hoping no one else Y'all need to settle down. <laughs> <laughs> We're having just way too much fun. We just fun started yeah. the show. I want to ask you something. The new album, uh, She Rides Wild Horses, how do you come up with titles for albums? Well, this happens to be, there's a song on there called She Rides Wild Horses, and it, it's a wonderful song. It, the, the concept is that her life is really very boring. She's got a lot of problems, but in her dreams, she rides wild horses. So, okay. it, And I just love the, the sound of that. It conjures a really nice image. Okay. Let's take another call. Wendy from Victoria, B.C., up north in Canada. You're on with Kenny. Say hello. 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 <laughs> You guys having fun there tonight? Oh, yeah. yeah, we just do everything you say. That <laughs> sure looks like a lot of fun. Wish I could be there. Well, we'll send a car. <laughs> <laughs> well, the song that I really want to hear is uh, She Believes in Me. Oh, yeah. That's, that's really a wonderful song. You know? And uh, that goes back to, to a long, long time ago. And uh, I'm trying to think of who wrote this song because it was really an important... Steve Gibb wrote this song. And it's really one of those songs, the first day I heard this, a lot of times you hear a song and you, and you think, oh, I really like that, but is it really going to work or not? And the minute I heard the song, I knew this was going to work. So, Well, let's have it work. Here we go. <laughs> well, 
while she lay sleeping. I stay out late at night and play my song. And sometimes all those nights can seem so long. And it's good when I find and make it home. All alone while she lays dreaming. I try to get undressed without the lights. Then quietly she says, How was your night? And I come to her and say, It was all right. could change the world with my My request is back with the man who taught us all when to hold him and when to fold him, Kenny Rogers. I'm Mark McEwen. If you just joined us, welcome to a fantastic night of live music. Our guest has more than 40 top 40 hits to choose from, including an incredible 20 number one hits. <laughs> and something that, as I'm sitting over there on the side while you're singing She Believes in Me, Jimmy and Linda, who are, they're going to get married to his fiance, all I hear behind me is... <laughs> <laughs> He's kissing her all through the song. They better get married. It's a beautiful yeah, thing. <laughs> Ready for another call? Absolutely. Boise, Idaho. Katie, you're on the phone. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Katie. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm great, thanks. Hey, we loved you in Boise here recently. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that was, what, three weeks ago, four yes. weeks ago? Yeah. Yes, you are a consummate performer. That's very sweet. Thank you very much. Could, could you do a song for me for my good friend Ruby Wyatt in Twin Falls, Idaho? Sure. Her, Ruby? Oh, Ruby, yeah. <laughs> 
Very appropriate song, I would think. You know. Now you, this song you don't, is, have a, you don't have a song called Boise. No, don't have a Boise. So we got to go with Ruby. We We're working on it. But Ruby is an interesting song because I, I wasn't the first person to record that. Mel Tillis wrote it, but uh -huh. I heard it on a Roger Miller album when I heard it, and I did it with the first edition. And the producer said, "I'm telling you, you will never get that song played on the radio." We had 20 minutes left. That's the old days where you had three hours to do a session. And if you didn't get it finished, you didn't get it done. And I said, "We had 20 minutes," and I said, "I promise you, let me do this. If we get it played, it'll be a huge hit." And, and it was interesting because we had to go to London to do it on the Tom Jones show, which then played in the States and, then it became, and made, a it became a hit. They would not play it here, but they heard it on the television show, and it became a huge hit. So I'm excited. This is a Mel Tillis song. <laughs> you painted up your lips and rolled and curled your tinted hair. <laughs> Ruby, are you contemplating going out somewhere? Shadow on the wall tells me the sun is going down. Oh, Ruby. It wasn't me that started that old crazy age war, but I was proud to go and do my. And yes, it's true that I'm not the man I used to be. That doesn't even rhyme for God's sake. She's leaving now because I just heard the slamming of the door. The way I know I've heard it slam 100 times before And if I could move I'd get my gun and put her in the ground I'll do it myself. For God's sakes, turn around. Every, every time I go, every time I do Regis and Kathy Lee, yeah. I come out and Regis starts going, ooh. ooh. <laughs> it's his favorite thing of all time. And Regis can sing. Yeah. yeah. At least Regis thinks he can yeah, sing. Yeah, at least Regis thinks he can. One yeah. thing about that song, you say that Crazy Asian War, it was written around the Korean yeah, War, it, it, and it was a big hit for you around the Vietnam because War. Because I released it at a time when everybody was very conscious of the Vietnam War, and but Mel Tillis actually wrote it about a friend of his who was in the Vietnam War, so I mean, in the Korean, Korean War. War. All right. Also, one thing, when did you go from Kenneth to Kenny? Oh, here we go. I was, there was a guy named Larry Keane in Houston who had kind of a Dick Clark show. And I went on and did a song called That Crazy Feeling, which uh -huh. was a terrible song, but very successful <laughs> song. I'm, well, I'm 19 years old, and it was actually a charted record. It did very well. But he, I came off the show, and he said, I'm going to tell you something, son. You'll never go any place known as Kenneth Rogers. We're changing your name to Kenny. And I thought, I don't think so. And I walked out, and a bunch of little girls said, oh, Kenny. I said, you know, that's a great <laughs> name. That is a great name. So I am stuck with that. I'm Marky McEwen from here Marky. on out. <laughs> Marky San Mark. Let's go. <laughs> San Diego, California. Letty, you're on the phone with Kenny Rogers. Say hello. Hello, Kenny. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great, thanks. We're waiting for you here in San Diego. Hope you'll come visit us soon. Yeah, we're, I think we're coming out there after the, uh, toward the end of the year. Can't wait. Um, I'd love to hear Love Will Turn You Around. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so would I. <laughs> wow. Now, are you ready? No, I'm not sure. Yeah. The question is, are you guys ready? Are you ready? guys ready? I'm getting oh, out of here. This is going to be interesting. Okay, this is the beauty of live, uh, live television and the dangers of live television. So here we go. You can run.
run, you can hide, never let it inside. Keep living your life in the dark. Sooner or later, that gentle persuader is gonna catch up with your heart. Make you a dreamer, believer, believe in love. Right when a man is all that you can, and he thinks he's got nothing to lose, life will deliver the shot to put driving down to his make him start giving, whoops, living, living again. Well, it's your mind that talks you in the lead. Well, it's your heart that talks you into staying where you are. Love will turn you around, turn you around. Out of the blue, she reaches for you, and you tell her you don't have the time. So you run away fast, but you know it won't last, because you can't get her off of your mind. So burn it, turn it, turn it around. Now how do you know when to stay or to go? And how do you know when it's real? You don't need a sign to make up your mind. Cause you got your heart at the wheel. You wanna start caring, sharing, caring again. Well it's your mind. It's your heart that talks you in the state of where you are. Love will turn you around, turn you around. Love will turn you around, turn you around. Turn you around. Okay, you sing it. Turn you around. Turn you around. I love that. <laughs> I'm telling you, there are people here who know that song better than I do. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> See, I'm just watching the mouths move as you're singing. <laughs> they will turn you around. Follow the bouncing Kenny is how we do that. Shall we take another call? Sure. I thought you said you couldn't do this. I I'm not sure. We're not through yet. Okay. <laughs> Let's we take this one song at a time. BJ, like. Cannon City, Colorado. You're on with Kenny Rogers. Kenny, I love your music. Oh, last thanks, week, BJ. Last week, I got to hear your new song, The Greatest. Would you play it for my husband, please? You know, this is a, this is a hot little song. It's an amazing thing. I mean, I just, it's interesting how this happened and how fate takes a role in your career sometime because Don Schlitz wrote this song, you know, and I made a vow 20 years ago when I recorded The Gambler that, that every 20 years I would do a Don Schlitz song. So. <laughs> but I'm, I'm convinced that, and when you hear the song, you'll see why I'm saying this. I'm convinced that when Don wrote this, he really never expected anyone to record it because it's not a song song. It's a wonderful story about a little kid who just loves baseball. I need and to get my love, stool. You love stories. Too. You're a story I do. man. That's the whole thing. And he actually went to a, a place called the Bluebird Cafe where writers go on Wednesday in night, Nashville. every Wednesday night in Nashville. And he went and um, did this. And somebody actually recorded it and sent it to me, not thinking I might record it, but just thinking that they know I love moments like this in my live show. So he said, I think you'll love this. So I go to a radio station here in New York, and I go up and I sing it with just my guitar. And the phone's just lit up. So I go to another radio station in Nashville, and I do it, and it becomes the request, the, the, the number one requested song on this radio station, and I haven't even recorded it yet. So it didn't take me long to figure out, I need to get in and do this thing. I need to record this song. The greatest, Kenny Rogers. And for those of you who haven't heard it, let me just kind of tell you real quickly that it's a, it's a very simple little song. 
that uh, about baseball that really is more than baseball. It's really kind of a wonderful philosophy from a kid's point of view about what life is all about. It's called The Greatest. Little boy in a baseball hat Stands in the field with his ball and bat Says I am the greatest player of them all He puts his bat on his shoulder And he tosses up his ball And the ball goes up and the ball comes down Swings his bat all the way around The world's so still you can hear the sound The baseball falls to the ground Now the little boy doesn't say a word Picks up his ball, he is undeterred Says I am the greatest there has ever been And he grits his teeth and he tries it again And the ball goes up and the ball comes down Swings his bat all the way around The world's so still you can hear the sound The baseball falls to the ground He makes no excuses, he shows no fear He just closes his eyes and listens to the cheers Now the little boy, he adjusts his hat Picks up his ball, stares at his bat Says I am the greatest and the game is on the line So he gives his all Swings his bat with all his might. And the world's as still as still can be. And the baseball falls. And that's strike three. Now it's supper time. And his mama calls. Little boy starts home with his bat and ball. Says, I am the greatest. That is a fact. But even I didn't know I could pitch like that. I love that song. Is that a great song? I could see mom sitting in the kitchen, looking at her son, grinning. And that boy grew up to be Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire, you bet. <laughs> I am the greatest. What a great song that is. Love and that the song. the ball goes up and, and the ball, ball comes down. down. Let's go a little bit down memory lane. You've won a ton of CMAs, a ton of People's Choice Awards, many multi-platinum albums. But there's one thing that just happened. The Diamond Award came from yeah. the music industry. That was nice. And for people who don't know what it is, you're a very exclusive company. Paul McCartney, yeah. Billy Joel, and you, for people who have really sold, I think it's a bazillion uh, albums. Well, it, you have to sell over 10 million of any one album. Right. So uh, my greatest hits album sold like 12 million in this country, 22 million worldwide. And it was, it was a wonderful thrill. I'm telling you, it was a little like we are the world without music backstage. Yeah. You know, because here's the, these guys are, you know, you've been fans of them, whether you like that genre of music. I mean, this is the cream of the crop out there that I was standing around. Hey, I'm hanging with Def Leppard and Metallica, you know? <laughs> My buds, you know what it is? And, and Kenny G and I, we had this thing. We started this, taking all the signs around, getting everyone to sign them for us. We were like gurming everybody, you know? But, but it was great fun, and it was a wonderful night, and, and I'm thrilled to have had that experience. Def Leppard? Def Leppard. I have to tell you a true story. The, the lead singer with Def Leppard came up to me and he says, Joel. I just want you to know that the very first song I ever bought was Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town. And I thought that was so cool. You know? They're a good band, too, Def yeah, Leppard. Yeah, they're great guys, too. Shall we take another call? Sure. Let's go out. We're back okay. in Denver, Colorado. Ron, you're on the line. Hi, Kenny. Hey, Ron. I'd like to know if you would sing uh, Love or Something Like It. Love or Something Like It. Yeah. Sure. Okay, tell me about love or something. No, like I can't that. tell you. Steve Glassmeyer and I wrote this song, and it was, uh, 
it's, it's so funny. We just kind of knocked this song out one day, and it went on the Greatest Hits album, and we made a zillion dollars off of it. So <laughs> we're thinking we may sit down and write another song now. You know? A zillion a dollars. A zillion dollars. Coming up. As opposed to a million. Just get out of my way Now show me the jukebox I'll tell you what songs you should play Now sooner or later A few shots of bourbon I'll think of something to say Whoa, I can take her or leave her But I'd like to take her away Liquor and music The good combination If you got love on the brain Never knew two women who acted the same. Cause some want to drink first, and some want to just sit and talk. Whoa, whoa, it's two in the morning. I'm running, and she wants to run. the wrong thing, just the right woman this time. Cause she knew a hotel, she even had a name we could sign. Whoa, whoa, the cheaper the grapes are, the sweeter the taste of the wine. So when you're riding down the highway, yeah. and you got the radio on, uh -huh. and a Kenny Rogers song comes on the radio, mm -hmm. you sing along with it? Absolutely. You do? <laughs> don't you? Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> and kill it, too. I'm bet, sure you I do. Bet. I'd like to hear that. I'd like to hear that. I may get you to join me on one of these tonight. Yeah. That would be fun. <laughs> The album that's never released yeah, by Kenny is, Rogers and this Mark This is live TV, Mark, you know. <laughs> Let's go down to Jeffrey and, oh boy, Na Nacogdoches. Na there you go, hey, Louisiana, hey. Nacogdoches. You bet. Hey, Jeffrey. Hey, Kenny. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm doing hey, Jeffrey. well. Well, Kenny, I just wanted to tell you it's truly an honor to speak to a real country music legend such as yourself. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. And I have a favor to ask. My request is through the years, and I would like to dedicate that to the most important two ladies in my life, my wife, Dana, and my mother, Peggy. Jeffrey, I think that's so sweet. I have to tell you an interesting thing. I, got a, I was doing a show the other night, and this lady came up to me. It's funny how you, I didn't write this, but when you do a song, you kind of have a story in the back of your mind of what it's about. And this lady came up to me, and she said, I just want you to know that we played this song through the years at my father's funeral. And I mean... When I started listening to this song, it took on a whole different meaning. And this song was written by two guys named Stephen Dorff, who you see his name on television. He does a lot of stuff for music for TV shows, and Marty Panzer. And it really is one of those wonderful career songs. I mean, every artist in the world would love to get one of these once in his lifetime. And it is a wonderful song. And that's a great intro for wow. the song. <laughs> For anyone but you 
I swear we've been through everything there is. Can't imagine anything we've missed. Can't imagine anything the two of us can do. Through the years, you never let me down. You turned my life around. The sweetest days I've found, I've found with you. Through the years, I've never been afraid. I've loved the life we've made, it, and I'm so glad I stayed right here with you. Through. Of great songs. Now, I, it's it's been a wonderful career, you know, and I, I I continue to believe that that fate is so important in careers like this because there are guys who sing circles around me that haven't had a chance to find that one record, and I've stumbled in. I've always said that was my real strength is finding great songs. So well, you found a bunch of them. Yeah, Let's thanks. go to Chicago. This is Jenny. You're on the line with Kenny. Jenny, are you there? We lost Jenny. Jenny. Oh, let's call we her back. Jenny. We feel kind of bad Punch about that. Punch redial. <laughs> we know what her request was. I, I like the fact that Jenny, you're on with Kenny, rhyme. That I was kind of a, a thing for work me. Work for me. Hey, what I'm thinking about, this young man down here said his sister's in the hospital, and he, and he wanted me to say, what was her name? Suzanne. Suzanne. He wanted me to say, Suzanne, get well quick, Suzanne. Well, we know. Your brother's down here. There you go. He should be at the hospital with you, but he's here with us. And Jenny, we know what Jenny was going to request. You know what she was going to request? What was she going to request? Lucille. Oh, okay. Now there's a song I never get to do. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now this song kind of t took you into country music. Yeah, it did actually. The first edition had just broken up and I was looking for something that would kind of give me a, a country identity and boy, this sucker did. Now I heard a story today, and this is an absolute true story. Now you never know about these legends that take place, but I was doing an interview in England and there's, you know, in England they really, they know every guitar player on the record, they know who produced it and I don't even know that. But so this lady said, well, now, I heard a great story about Lucille. Can you tell me that this is true? That Larry Butler, who was the producer, a guy named Roger Bowling, wrote this song. Roger Bowling and Larry Butler were playing poker, and Larry Butler lost $5,000 to Roger Bowling, the songwriter. And he told him, get me a song, and I'll do it to the artist of your choice that I'm producing in return for paying that debt. And that's how he paid off See, the See, if Larry debt? hadn't been a gambler, there's no telling where I would be today. <laughs> <laughs> See how the gambler keeps coming into keeps everything coming, here? Just resurfacing. Lucille. Lucille. In a bar in Toledo, across from the beat, in a bar stool where she could call for the rain. I thought I'd get closer, so I walked on over. I sat down and asked her her name. When the drinks finally hit her, she said, I'm no quitter. I finally quit living my dreams. I'm hungry for laughter, and here ever after, I'm after whatever the other love brings. In the mirror,
looked like a mountain For a minute I thought I was dead But he started shaking His big heart was breaking And he turned to the woman and said You picked a fine time to Rest up for a minute. I know how tiring that must have been to you. And for God's sakes, quit swaying. I mean, can you not, you sit perfectly still all night, and I start this song, and everybody in here goes. You look like a room full of Ray Charles. You got the right one, baby. After he left us, I ordered more whiskey. Thought how she'd made him look small And from the lights of the bar room To rented hotel We walked without talking Now she was a beauty But when she came to She must have thought I'd lost my mind Cause I couldn't hold her The words that he told her Kept coming Back time after time. You're gonna sing it, sing it. You make to find time to make me lose. Much better with four hungry children. All the fun stuff. Just once a micro, I want to say now the left handers. Yeah, right. Now the short order cooks. You know, because you get everybody in the crowd going there. Pick the fine time to leave me, Lucia. Let's go to Canada. Chris from Ontario, you're on the line with Kenny Rogers. Hello? Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, Chris. <laughs> he laughed. We made him laugh. Kenny. How you doing? My wife still likes your jacket, and I still like those $10 bills you were throwing. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Just to let you know what he's talking about, in the show, I pick out a guy in the front row that looks like he's not having fun, and I give him $10 for every one of my hit songs he can name. So Chris sounds like he's got some of my money going. Chris. <laughs> what do you want to hear tonight, Chris? It floated further, too, than Canadian. I wanted to hear uh, <laughs> Don't Fall in Love with a Dreamer. Oh, yeah. That's... <laughs> Now, this is a song that Kim Carnes wrote for yeah. me. And Kim Carnes, a lot of people don't know this. Kim Carnes was in the New Christy Minstrels when I was with them. And we became really good friends. And she wrote an entire album, one of the first concept albums. It was called Gideon. And this is a really wonderful song. And, you know, duets have been a huge part of the success of my career and my, and my life. And uh, so I would have been ill-prepared had I not brought someone to sing this with me. So we have a surprise for you here. So you bring her out? She's coming out after the song. She's gonna, we're going to talk to her in a minute. Oh, 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 this is a surprise for me, too. See there? Yeah. Just look at you Standing there You never looked better than tonight And it would be so easy To tell you I stand Like I've done so many Time. I was so sure Linda Davis This would be the night You would close the door and want to stay with me And it would be so easy to tell you I'd stay Like I've done so
Well, it's morning and the phone rings And you say you gotta get your things together You just gotta leave before you change your oh, mind and if you knew what I was thinking, girl I'd turn around If you'd just pass me one more time Linda Davis. Linda Davis, Linda everybody. Davis. Hello, Linda. Hi. Getting crowded out here <laughs> in a good way. Now, this girl can sing. Yes, she does. <laughs> now, there's a reason why she's floating around because you guys are about to go off on a little journey together. Yeah, I mean, we've decided we wanted to go to Europe together, so we're going over. We leave actually Sunday, I think. We go to. Um, start off in Warsaw, Poland, Helsinki, Finland, Oslo, Norway. And we go to nine countries within about 30 days. And she's my road partner now. We're going to go sing some songs in Europe. So yes, this is going to be exciting. I want to mention she has a new album out as well called I'm Yours. So look for that as well out on DreamWorks. And Thank Linda, you. thanks for being out here. Tickle you to be here. Thanks. Love you, Kimi. Thank you, too. Thank you. Live by request on a and &E, I'm Mark McEwen. We've been having a wonderful time. I just said who macrameed Linda Davis's outfit. What a wonderful outfit she has <laughs> on tonight. <laughs> I want to ask you a question. You mentioned Ray Charles earlier. He's always yeah. been a big, big hero of yours. He's Why? actually, I think, my inspiration for being in this business. When I was 12 years old, I went. he's the first concert I ever went to in Houston, Texas. And I went, and there were about 50 acts on the show. It was a, the good old days where you could get a lot for your money, you know. And, and I went to see this guy, and he came out, and he is the only person with the exception of a guy I worked with in Houston named Bobby Doyle, who can actually make me cry when he sings. I mean, he touches me in a very special place, and no one else has ever been able to do that. I don't care what it is. I had a TV show once, and he came on, and he sang a song from Sesame Street called It's Not Easy Being Green, and I swear to God, I was crying. I was crying. I mean, he just, he, the, his voice just, there's something so beautifully honest about that voice. And Kermit saw you cry and said, wait a minute. What's <laughs> my <deal>. song? <laughs> Andrew from Pine Top, Arizona. You're on the air with Kenny Rogers. Hello. Hey, Andrew. Um, I would I'd just like to say thank you. Um, I love your music. I'm a brand new fan. I'm, I'm a young man, just 20 years old. And nice. I've just grown to respect your music so much. And I love your music. And, thank you. Uh, I just want to say thank you. And uh, I would love to hear Kenny. <laughs> I love that song. He said Coward in the County. Coward yeah. of the County. Coward of the County. Yeah. Thank you very much. Andrew, that, that's, a, that's a wonderful request, and it's one of my favorite songs, too. I actually, it's funny how, I, again, and I don't want this to sound self-serving, but I've had quite a few hits, and in order to keep it live for me, I drop songs from time to time and do other songs, and then I reintroduce them at a later time. And about six months ago, or maybe a year ago, I started doing Coward of the County again, and I don't know why I ever dropped that, because it gets great response in the show, and it's a fun song to do as well. Coward of the County. Everyone considered him the coward of the county. He never stood one single time to prove the county wrong. His 
Mama called him Tommy the Folks just called him Yellow Something always told me They were reading Tommy wrong He was only ten years old My daddy died I took care of Tommy Cause he was my brother's son I still recall the final words my brother said son, son, my life is over, but yours has just begun. Promise me, son, not to do the things I've done. Walk away from trouble if you can. Now it don't mean you're weak if you turn the other cheek. And I hope you're old enough to understand. Gatlin boys just laughed at him when he walked into the bar room. One of them got up, met him halfway across the floor. Tommy left the bar room, not a Gatlin boy was standing. He said, This one's for Becky, as he watched the last one fall. And I heard him say, I promised you, Dad, not to do the things you Understand. Sometimes you gotta fight for a man. Everyone considered him a coward of a county. You know, my daytime gig, I work on CBS, you know that. <laughs> so I'm going to have to mention an NBC, NBC show for a second here. You were on Seinfeld. They had a whole episode oh. all about Kenny Rogers on Seinfeld. What was that like? Well, you have to know, first of all, that it spiked our sales 15%, so we were thrilled. <laughs> so you love that. But more importantly, it was actually based on a true story. For those of you who didn't see it, there, and first of all, right here in New York, there was a guy, we had a store. If you drive by a, a, a food store and they're cooking food, it smells wonderful. Yeah. If you're five floors above it and they start at 9 o'clock in the morning, every morning, <laughs> it is not a wonderful fragrance. So this guy literally sued us to get us to move out of this building. And when he couldn't win the lawsuit originally, he put out a big sign over his thing that said, Bad Chicken, yeah. and had a sign. Point. And, and Jerry Seinfeld lived somewhere in that area, and he saw this and did this whole episode on it. And I personally think that's one of the funniest shows they have ever done. All with a sign saying bad chicken. A bad chicken. <laughs> Terry from Surrey, British Columbia, Canada. You're on the air with Mr. Kenny Rogers. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Terry. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I just want to say it's an honor talking to you. I saw you in Winnipeg with Ronnie Millsap many years ago. Oh, yeah. What a yeah. great guy he is, oh, too. You guys did a great show. Thank you. I'd like to know if you can sing Lady for me. My husband and I got married. <laughs> My husband and I got married to Lady, and I've since lost that part of the CD from your greatest hits, so I haven't heard it in a few years. Well, I will absolutely do that for Can you. Can you tell the story of how this song, Lionel Richie came in and said... Well, it starts with, first of all, that I was... One of my favorite albums was Ray Charles. Again, he did a, a country album called Born to Lose, or, and he did several just wonderful country songs. And what he did that I thought was so interesting is he sang R&B to country tracks. Right. So I thought, maybe I'll sing country to R&B tracks. So I called Lionel Richie, or got in touch with Lionel Richie. And he came over, and he said, well, you know, I don't know whether I really have time or not. I said, well, Lionel, it is our plan to put this on the Greatest Hits album, which, and we had already been guaranteed we would sell five or six million. He says, I can be there at 7.30. <laughs> I mean, it's a true story. And he came over, and he sat down, and I said, well, have you written anything? He said, well, I've got this one song. And he sits down at the piano, and he goes, lady. Da, 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 da. And that's all he had was Lady. But it was so beautiful. I said, absolutely, we'll do that. So we go in the studio to record this. He only has the first verse. I'm in the studio with musicians singing the first verse. He literally goes to the bathroom and writes the second verse while I'm singing the first verse. You know, most people just go to the bathroom. Yeah, well, not Lionel. Now, there's a guy. He is unique in that respect. Sing Lady for us, Kevin. You bet. Thanks. Oh, 
lady I'm your knight in shining armor and I love you you have made me what I am I am yours my love there's so many ways I want to say I let me hold you in my arms forevermore. You have gone and made me such a fool. And I am so lost in your love. Whoa, we belong. my soul Lady For so many years I thought I'd never find you You have come into my life and made me hope Forever let me wake to see you each and every morning. Let me hear you whisper softly in my ear. And in my eyes, I see no one else but you. There's no one there love like I. Yes, I'll always want you near me. I've waited for you for so long. Later, your love's the only love. I want you to be Cause my love There's something I want you to know You're the love of my life You're my lady This is a lot of fun, Jerry. It is this fun. Is a lot it's of fun. more fun than I thought it would be. Okay. I went back to the cyber boys back there. Don't look, don't oh. look. This is the email. We said we're going to get there are a gazillion. They counted them. A gazillion emails gazillion. coming in to Kenny Rogers. That's you. Mm -hmm. From Teresha from Hyattsville, Maryland. I'm from Maryland. Your music has been with me since I was 11 when I started learning English. I always sing along with you and love to sing for others and soothe their hearts the way you do. I hope you continue singing for us and for my little child who's about to join me in this world. Oh, Please nice. play Crazy and God Bless You oh. for Teresha. This is a, a song actually that I co-wrote with Richard Marks. And uh, Richard and I were talking one day about it. And I can't remember what I wrote, and neither can he, but I got half writer's credit, so I'm, I'm taking credit for this. Girl, there are no words to say what I feel. On my mind, night and day, and it hurts me when we're apart, and you're 
not here by my side. There is nothing in this world for me. I guess I'm crazy, crazy for you, can't you see? And although you may think. I will always need your love. Oh, I, I can see every dream when I look. Can't remember which part you wrote. I guess I can't remember one. I, I know I must have written part of it. But <laughs> Let's take another request. This is up in uh, the Pacific Northwest, up in Seattle. Christopher. Yes. Say hi to Kenny Rogers. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Christopher. How are you? Fine. Good. I want to request Gambler. Uh, you <laughs> see my very first album when I was a young kid, my for my very first cassette player. And I love the song, and I still do. I even love watching the movies every time it comes out on TV. Yeah. And it's one of my best favorites. Oh, that's very nice. Thanks, Christopher. You know, if you, it's so funny for me to go back and watch. We've done five Gambler movies. And to go back and my beard was that long when that <laughs> first thing started. I mean, I've never, and what's really sad is I thought I looked great. I mean, it's just, <laughs> you look back on those things, it is amazing to me how I've changed since then. When you heard that song, did you know? No question. Uh, more than any other song I have ever heard, when I heard that song, Something in the, I mean, I, I must tell you, I, we knew it was going to be a big country record. I don't think anyone in their wildest dreams had any idea that it would do so well internationally and literally establish a persona for me around the world. So, I mean, it is a, a rare and wonderful song. Plus, people walk around saying, you know, Bob, you got to know when to hold them <laughs> and know when to fold them. <laughs> the gambler, Kenny Rock. Yeah. On a warm summer's evening, on a train bound for nowhere, met up with a gambler. We were both too tired to sleep, so we took turns to stare out the window at the darkness. To boredom overtook us, and he began to speak. He said, "Son, I made my life out of reading people's faces, knowing what the cards were by the way they held their eyes." So if you don't mind me saying, I can see you're out of it For a taste of your whiskey, I'll give you some advice. So I handed him my bottle, and he drank down my last swallow. Then he bummed a cigarette, 
Face lost all expression Said if you're gonna play the game Boy, you gotta learn to play it right You got to know when to hold Know when to fold up Know when to walk away Know when to run And you never count your life When you're sitting at the table There'll be time enough for count When the dealing's done Oh, every gambler knows The secret to surviving Is knowing what to throw away Knowing what to keep Cause every hand's a winner And every hand's a loser And the best you can hope for Is to die in sleep So when he finished speaking He turned back toward the window Crushed out his cigarette Faded off to sleep Somewhere in the darkness, the gambler he broke even. In his hands, we found an ace that I could keep. You got to know when to hold, know when to fold, know when to walk away, know when to run. And you never count your money when you're sitting at the table. One of the great things we do, the night before we do the show, we have a little rehearsal dinner. As okay. we're sitting around talking last night, we are talking about the gambler, and you were saying, you know, this gave me such an identity. When I went to Jamaica one time, oh, yeah. tell that Jamaica story. We, we go into this little restaurant, and it's, there's four or five of us, and we go in and we sit down, and we just kind of stumbled into this place, and sitting over the corner are ten Rastafarians, you know, and they kind of look over at us, and they give us this real angry look, and I'm telling my friends, you know, maybe we're in the wrong spot. <laughs> Perhaps we should take this as a signal and leave. And I'm telling you, we stand up, and all of a sudden, in unison, they start singing, you got to know when to hold the money. <laughs> no, when, and they were the nicest guys. And they bought our lunch, and we sat there for like two hours to talk. But it was so cute. You got to know when to hold the money. You know? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Let's go to Janice in Phoenix, Arizona. You're on with Kenny Rogers, man. Man. Hi, Kenny. This Hi, is Janice. Janice. This is Janice Campo from Phoenix. How are you? Oh, I am just thrilled to be here talking to you. Well, thank you. I uh, heard you a couple weeks ago uh, sing a duet on uh, KNIX with Willie. Remember that? Oh, yes, I do. Yes. Well, uh, I've got a request for a song tonight. Maybe Mark would do a duet with you. No, with no, no. Janice, Mark. Janice, Janice. <laughs> Come Who here, loves Mark. you? I do. Don't bring up duets here. Come on, Mark. What song are you talking about? We've got tonight. Right. Oh, that's I'm going to duet with him when we... How about we bring Linda back up for that? Because I'm not going to... Absolutely. Gonna... I mean... Linda, come on back up and sing We've Got Tonight. Save me. <laughs> Linda Davis. Why should we worry? No one will care, girl. Look at the stars now. They're so far away. 
we've got to know who needs tomorrow. We've got tonight, babe. Why don't we stay? Deep in my soul Let's make it last. Let's find a way. Turn out the light. Oh, oh, oh. come take my hand. We've, We've got, got tonight, babe. Why don't we stay? We've got tonight, babe. Why? Linda Davis, who saved my life. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Okay, okay. Janice trying to get me to sing that yeah. song. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Ah, the duet that almost was. <laughs> you know, it, yeah. Oh, we're not through yet. Oh, no, we're Monica. not through yet. Let's go up to Springfield, Massachusetts. Christine, Hi. you're on the phone with Kenny Rogers. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Christine. How are you? I'm great. I've been holding for so long. I'm just, I'm so happy to talk to you. Well, we're so <laughs> glad you got through. Thank you. Yes. Um, how, well, how, how long have you been holding? Since 9 o'clock. Since 9 o'clock. Wow. Yes. Okay, that's a dedicated I, are these fan. Call, are these calls free coming in? Or yeah, they, yes, they are. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it was a scam to build up their people's, <laughs> hold yeah, them on the we're phone gonna for right an hour. We're going to get right to you. Hold on. We're going to get right to you. Yeah. It wouldn't matter if it wasn't free. I'd still hold the talk to you. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Um, I've been a fan all my life. My mom's at home in Marlboro listening to you, too, and uh, we both wanted to hear you decorated my life. Oh, oh. okay. What can you tell me about this one? Actually, uh, it's just one of those rare and wonderful songs. Debbie Huff and Bob Morrison wrote this song, and uh, Lionel Richie produced this for me. And it's just one of those uh, really wonderful songs that I love doing. You and Lionel again, huh? He Here keeps cropping up in my life, doesn't he? <laughs> Once plain, pure, and white Till you moved with your pen Changing moods now and then Till the balance was right Then you added some music Every note was in place And anybody could see all the changes in me by the look on my face.
This has been so much fun tonight working with you. And you know, I have to tell you, first of all, you have really made this. They told me when I asked, I asked they asked me to do this. They said, "I promise you, you're going to be in good hands with Mark. He'll make you feel comfortable <laughs> and get you through all those rough moments." And you've been a wonder and a joy to work well, with. Thank you. And I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well. You guys had fun tonight, or what? <laughs> See, that's how they say it in New York. Have you had fun, or what? Is or what, what they say. Yeah. You've said to me you are a student of the business. As you look back on your career, what are you proudest of? I don't know that it's necessarily the proudest of, but you know, every time someone says, what, what memory do you reflect on when you think about your career? I remember as a kid watching television, you know, and at one time when I was with the first edition, we were standing on stage singing Something's Burning on the Ed Sullivan Show. And I said to myself, wow, this is pretty cool. Yeah. You know, because I remembered as a kid watching the Ed Sullivan show and, and saying, now those are the big guys, you know. Yeah. And all of a sudden to find myself in that position and to, to be able to experience it at the moment. A lot of times you look back on things, but that was a wonderful moment in my life because that to me meant that I had really done something well with my life. You told me on my show that, uh, I said, when did you realize that you weren't going to go back to, like, working for a living? Yeah. That you could make money doing yeah, this? But you said you were making a ton of dough down in Houston selling... Selling office supplies. Right. You know, I used to sell carbon papers and typewriter ribbons <laughs> and stuff. And I was really good. I got fired because I wouldn't work a whole day, though. I mean, I was... <laughs> no. Kenneth Rogers is here again. That's, that's right. I, <laughs> I was good as Kenneth Rogers as a salesman. Anything you haven't done that you want to do? Well, you know, every year... I kind of make it a, a, a kind of a rule of thumb. I've given up on the losing weight thing. I'm on my New Year's resolution. So what I decided to do every year is do something this year that I've never done before. Every year, whatever that is. And this year, I've been offered an opportunity to write a weekly column for the New York Times about oh. country music and its impact on the American society. And it's a, really a great opportunity. And I'm hoping to do that. So. I guess the question Bear is asking, what did you do last year? Yeah. Well, last year, actually, starting two years ago, I, um, I wrote a one-act play and wrote 12 songs for it, and last year we did it on Broadway. So that, to me, was an experience I've never done before. There you go. Well, we got to say goodbye. Well, we have to do some goodbyes. I want to say thank you very much. How about a hand for the band? Yeah, this oh, has been God. just as hard for these guys. You guys were great tonight. 
How about a hand to the lovely Linda Davis? Absolutely. We'll see you in Europe. Couldn't have done it without all of you here in the audience, all the people at home, all the people tuning in, listening on radio. Kenny, you are the greatest. Last request is always yours. Thank you, my friend. You got, thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, Kenny Rogers. This is a song from the new album, and it's called Slow Dance More. Grady Johnson was a common man Four children and some bottom land Early to bed, he said, now that ain't me Gotta spend some time with my family Left to his own device, maybe come sure And children grow up way too soon So love your name